everyone. Welcome to today's episode on how to real estate. Um, and I got called out. So today's episode is going to be about why I only want to live in college towns. Okay, so yes, I have said that on multiple occasions and I had someone say, Adna, why is it that you only want to live in a college town? And there's many, many reasons. I'm gonna start from a personal aspect. Um, I just like the vibe. I think it's a more eclectic group of people. Um, I like the concept of people moving in with new ideas and people moving out because they don't like whatever's happening in Tahlequah. Guess what? You can leave if you don't like it. Um, what we do find though in a college town, and it's one of my favorite things, as a realtor, I get calls every day where people are wanting to um, start the process of looking for a retirement home. And I say, oh, that sounds great. Um, what are you thinking of? You know, something on the river, something on the lake, something in Tahlequah. And then I ask them, what's bringing you to Tahlequah? And they tell me that they actually went to college and that's a lot of times that's where they met their spouse, Jill. I know, I know. So like a lot of times they came here for college as you know, 18, 19, 20 year olds, met, fell in love, got their degree and then moved away. And now they're looking to come back and relocate here once they retire. So that, I'm not the only one who feels that way, right? Um, so that is one of my favorite things. So it's, it's this constant, almost influx of new ideas and new people. And that brings in new industry, new restaurants, just kind of a whole new vibe of everything. But from a real estate perspective, it's really great for the community. When you have people moving into Tahlequah for that four-year time frame, four to five years, I think it takes five years now to get a degree, <laughs> or so I've been told, yeah, yeah, um, then it's really good for a small town. And the reason is these individuals have to have housing. Um, yes, the college does provide some housing, but it doesn't work for everyone. Um, and frankly, every everyone um, doesn't qualify and just would not be comfortable living in the dorm in some circumstances. A lot of times you have young adults with families or um, they have a pet or they want to live in an apartment or whatever. So it's very good for our economy to have these students moving into Tahlequah and renting properties for anywhere from two to five years. Um, two years, you know, if they leave a little earlier than they thought, five years if it takes a little longer. So um, I personally do own rentals and it's been very, very good for, for the rental industry across the board. Now, yes, it does drive the prices up. <laughs> Jill knows that, right? It does make finding a rental a little harder. And something that, I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole here, but something that you wanna keep in mind with Tahlequah is that June, July, and August are very hectic months for finding housing because people, we do have an influx of students, um, new professors coming in, residents coming in for the OSU Medical Center, and then also students coming in for the optometry school. So those tend to be a little bit older, a little bit more mature students with even families, and so they're looking to rent nicer homes or larger homes. So if you happen to be thinking about moving to Tahlequah, and currently you're thinking of purchasing or renting, you don't want to wait until August um, when school is starting to roll in and try to find housing. It gets a little, a little uh, slim for that. Now, if you're thinking about moving to Tahlequah and you don't have to be here <clears throat> by August, my recommendation is to go ahead and wait until the mid mid September or end of September when things kind of settle down. And then from September through about February, we do have more housing options. And, um, and typically you can even get a little bit better deal as opposed to trying to secure your housing in June, July, or August. So keep that in mind. Uh, so for the economy, it's really good to have these rentals in our market. Um, again, as I had mentioned, you know, 
uh, some of the college students don't necessarily live here. They might live in outlying areas and drive in for classes, but guess what? Once they get here, they need to fill up their gas. Um, they need to get lunch or dinner, or they buy books. Sometimes they'll go shopping on their downtime. Uh, a lot of times they'll go ahead and take care of, maybe they'll get their car serviced while they're here. They'll get their haircuts while they're in town. They'll run by our local grocery stores and take groceries to go home. So overall, it's really amazing uh, for the community to have a college town and to have that influx of people on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, one of the fun things about Tahlequah is our population is around that 17,000 people. But what we say is, it's a standard of 17,000 unless the university is in session. So then, then we're significantly higher. Now, again, if they don't actually live here, then the population um, is not truly affected, but it does play into the amount of infrastructure that the city needs to have as far as not just housing, but also streets and roads and the, the amount of traffic. Um, and I know a lot of you constantly are frustrated with the amount of road work and road closures. But guys, growth is something that is really important for a town and keeping the infrastructure moving forward and not waiting until it's so out of date um, and then you have all kinds of other problems. So I think that the city is doing just an amazing job of trying to stay ahead of that as much as possible. And I've never seen anyone do it perfectly. So give them some grace. And if if I am behind you and I'm frustrated, <laughs> remind me to give you grace uh, because yes, I'm always running a little late to my next appointment. So, um, so for the economy, it's amazing to live in a college town. Um, the other thing that I think that we see is we get to do uh, unique things in our market that people have brought in because we're a college town. Uh, we have all kinds of yoga studios. Now, people are like, yeah, you've got yoga, big deal. Okay, but guys, we have probably more yoga studios per capita than most towns do. And there's so many different styles of yoga. And that's based upon the fact that we are a college town and people have moved in and brought those ideas. We also have, um, oh my gosh, my brain just went blank where they poke you with needles. Acupuncture. acupuncture, yes, thank you. Um, believe it or not, we have uh, several options for acupuncture, and there's even a free clinic for acupuncture um, once or twice a month that um, some people who've relocated here from Tahlequah have brought in, and it's health-related for calmness, for wellness, uh, to help with addiction issues, all kinds of cool things, and again, that was brought in because we are very eclectic and these individuals were drawn to a college town. Uh, some of our restaurants and our local shopping was brought in because we are a college town and that's the demographic. And then we also have some really fun bars and eateries that are not necessarily geared only toward the college individuals, but um, are, are seeing growth because of the college town and the college mentality. Uh, the other thing about Northeastern State College, because it is a four-year college, a lot of these individuals do go ahead and invest in our market by purchasing homes. So now we're not talking about rentals, but we actually have people move in purchase a home and live here for four to five years. And that is where they are paying taxes to the city. Um, and they become, they volunteer, they're active in the local uh, nonprofits, they're active in the churches, they are active even in sometimes in the city government. And they bring new ideas that we wouldn't necessarily run across if, if we never had new people moving in. So living in a college town, um, I think eclectic is the best way to describe it. It's a different vibe. I understand that it's not for everyone, but that those are a few of the reasons why I would only consider living in a college town from this point on. So I hope that helps.